Oh, um, shoot. Can I redo my intro? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. I am sorry. I had uh, I did my intro just a few minutes ago, but it uh, I, it hit record. And it didn't record. So anyway, we are back here with Fishing Planet, guys, for the biggest flathead catfish and the most fat flathead. God, I can't say that. Flathead catfish. Catfish. Flatfish. <laughs> anyway. We're at Naharan River, and we pretty much have the same gear. It's one of those. It's been one of those days, man. <laughs> one of those days, I tell you. Yeah. Anyway, let's get fishing before I make a bigger fool of myself. I'd like to. I think a three, two, one start so that I can hit my timer at the same time as your timer. All right. I've got it at 45 minutes. Three, two, one. And we're off. All right. All right. I'm going to advance time here to a better time. Let's see what kind of distance we get on this cast here. Yep, we're good. We should be good. All right. I'm going to first try my favorite spot, and I've got quite a few of them that I fish, but this one is always a good one for catching a lot of them quickly yeah so. I have, uh, my absolute favorite flathead spot and location in that spot and that is where i'm gonna start i'm gonna start right at 5 a.m because our fishing peak starts high and dwindles throughout the day and we'll see what's happening in the morning if we don't see much action in the morning we'll push to an afternoon catch the flathead don't always pay much attention to the fishing peak. Yeah, that's what I've kind of noticed. I already advanced mine because I... God bless it, I already got a bite and he disappeared. Can you drink it, shake? Yeah. I was just kind of reeling it in a little bit to pick up the slack and I said bait was pulled away, fish is gone. <laughs> yeah. They're there. They are there. Okay, I'm starting to think this might be a glitch because I didn't do anything that time. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give these fellas a little bit of time and if we don't see anything, we'll just push the time forward and keep doing so. We'll eventually hit a hot spot. And we might pick up guard while we're fishing these guys as well. Oh yeah. I usually have better luck with them a little... Lot. There we go. God bless it, he took my bait. You little pain in the butt. You pain in the butt. Oh. Well, me and the flathead here have an understanding. We are already discussed this if you showed up. To yes. make your life difficult and make my life glorious. I can already tell. Uh-huh. That's, no, that's not fair making negotiations here. Let's see. <laughs> north in the Mason-Dixon line, and I'm south in the Mason-Dixon line, and this here is the Carolinas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now it looks like their morning activity is running pretty slow, so we're going to bring this in. We'll give it one more cast. Wish I could catch just a little more distance on my cast, but my 10 pound line's about as light as we dare go. Oh, yeah. Well, the only problem I'm running into is I'm getting a lot of slack from the curtain as a result of it being so light. Yeah. And that reason that fish got away is I had too much slack. That's why I fish the location I do because I don't have to worry about slack. Ah. Some might say that that comment means it sounds like you're uh, slacking off. <laughs> Might be. All right. That, by the way, is Metallicana, one of our good buddies who hunts with us. Uh, they do. Oh, well, I should be saying hello from down under. <laughs> what time is it there? About. Uh, it's just after midday here in Australia. That's amazing. Yes. And it's, um, and it's on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it's. 1037 here on Friday night. Yep. Communicate to you. Yeah. 
through time. There we go. There we go. Oh shoot. El Snapo. Okay, he broke that. Gotta come down on the drag, man. Yep. Considerably. I my drag down with, with the oddnesses we've been having with the drag and stuff lately. I figured better to start low and crank it up than to start. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Lesson learned here. But Lady of Games has joined us in the streams and she says. Hello, Lady of Games. Hello, Lady of Games. AM Saturday morning where she is. And also my. Going under the name of Airport Cup this year. Doesn't Lady of Games also play Fishing Planet? I think I've seen her videos. I do believe yet. Yeah, I yeah. Believe. Yeah, she's really good. Alright, well, we're going to bring her on in. We're going to push the time a little bit. Well, sometimes they bite her, sometimes they don't. Well, so far you're in good shape because I've already broke my line. <laughs> Had my bait stolen. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I might be switching spots because this slack's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, Matt, you're probably over on the first peg where the dead are. The, um, uh, yeah, I'm dead I'm logs. At, uh, bad parking job at the end the end position of the bay where I usually fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot over there, too. You're right. But it's sure not doing anything. I hope they didn't jack that up with the update. I do, too. Okay, I think I'm getting interest here, but I'm not sure. Being a bit on the I don't know. One minute they're interested like crazy, and the next minute nothing. No, my wife doesn't play fishing planet. Uh she is a Sithiped. If it's Sith anything, Civ Galactic Conquest, Civ War of Roses, Civ Shopping at, at the A and P, whatever it is, she's <laughs> into it. Does she like playing simulator games? Uh, she plays Civ. You don't seem to understand. Nuts. She plays I've Civ. Got it. <laughs> it's the one guaranteed birthday and Christmas. If there's a Civ, I got it covered. I don't have to worry about about the right present. It is covered. Yeah, those are those are pretty involved. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was getting a bite, but he quit. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, I I got you. You pain in the butt. Okay, let's amp up the tension oh, here a little bit. Absolutely nothing down in this location, and that concerns me. This is a very, very hot catfish location, and just like suddenly the muskies aren't fighting where they were, and the northerns aren't fighting on Emerald Lake, and so on, I'm very concerned that they've massacred another one of my fishing spots. Great. Okay, he is... Let's see what this guy is. He is 20.365 pounds. 45.719 inches. Not bad. A very nice. Well, He's a very nice really catfish. Nice. Move down the shore just a touch. See if we might be able to get ourselves just a little farther out into things here. Now this other spot over here to my right is usually pretty good, but the only risk I take with this one is sometimes the bass will bite it too. <laughs> I'll be reeling it in and then I'll realize, ah, oh, it's a bass. 
<laughs> Which is usually a good thing. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna Don't break my really bad thing. Well, when you're doing catfish. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, well, this 10 pound test line probably gonna break my line here. Got a snag. Yeah. You're gonna lose a few hooks. Yep. But that's. We got plenty of hooks. <laughs> What's up? Well, I'm getting my drag all the way up, and it's gone. Let me go. I'm not breaking my line either. You can't hit. You might have to hit B. You might have to grab some. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break the line. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you might have to oh God, <laughs> that's what I thought you said. Okay. It's, it's like, are you sure you want to break the line? Yes. And it's not breaking the line. Oh boy. Yes, I want to break the line. Are you serial? Yeah. No, it's USB. There's a trick, mate. Who don't? Well, I'll drop it. It's not the line. Try again. It's not breaking the line. That's a, I think that's the same type of glitch I was having over in uh, Alaska. I, I've already written something to the devs about that one. It's really ticked me off. It's happened to me like four or five times. The only way I can get, get it out, I'll go ahead. If you want to go ahead and pause the time, I'll go ahead and reel mine in while you fix that. Alright, back on it. Alright, and I am going to go to that other spot because I don't think I'm going to have the dress. Slack issues if I do. I just gotta get to the spot. <laughs> right over here by these other stick ups, you go past that. Over to this open area here. And then toss it right over there. Anywhere in this area here. I have caught them here, so. Yeah, well, I can say something different. Well, I tried them the other day just to see, and I was pulling them in pretty regularly, so. True. I'm sure you've seen my, uh, my flathead videos, so you know the location I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Give this guy a moment. We don't see any action. We will push the time forward. I don't have a whole lot of luck with them in the morning. Well, generally, they bite within a time range in the morning. You don't see the bait within that time range, then uh, there is definitely an afternoon push. And I'm not seeing anything in the morning here because it doesn't take 45 minutes to make up their mind. They they get to it or they don't know. Right. That might be on sunny days that it does that better. Well, I you know what the thing is is both sunny days, partly cloudy days, and, and cloudy days. I fished them down here at specific times in a specific way, and I always picked up fish. Hmm. Sometimes you just gotta adjust the time of day. And this is this is different. Usually, if nothing else, I at least pick up a gar. If I, if I don't pick up any catfish during this time period, they're not there either. Hmm. All right, we're in, we're in and push the time. All right. Well, it's probably going to start increasing for for me a little bit because 
even though they start around six, seems like seven is when the what's raining. Well, uh, Lady of Games, the the difference has uh, nothing to do with the barometer. It has to do with the Alaska update. Plain and simple, since they did the Alaska update, nothing is as it was. <coughs> notice it. I did a post about it on the forums uh, on Steam and have had people step up and comment. They likewise have seen a reduction in, in fish catches because the lure dynamics are shot. And uh, there's there's been some other changes. And they're not for the better. And as I said, you know, I don't wanna I don't want to sling accusations just give food for thought, but it certainly seems as though, since the Alaska update, everything seems to be geared towards pushing people to pay money to buy credits. They doubled, doubled quadrupled, and quintupled the prices on various gear. There's just not as much to catch for fish. The Alaska got paid. Lots of, lots of fish to catch on the Alaska map. You're oh, yeah. 17, but if you're a lower level fisherman, you better be ready to catch a lot of bass and sunfish. That's all I can say. That is the problem. Okay, where am I going here? To hell if you don't change your weight. Oh, I know that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try this spot. I don't know why. What was the deal there? That one spot that I used to try before, it's not working anymore. Yeah. Well, I'm still not seeing so much as a nibble in my traditional spot. That's not Time good. Forward to three o'clock. We're gonna we're gonna give it a little while, and if that doesn't work, we're just gonna push forward an hour and see. Oh, good, good, good. Come on, come on, come on. Got one. Ooh, you are a big one. Come on. But there's a, a very deep hole right out there where the bend of the river is. And it's always been excellent for the flatheads and also for Gar. Yeah, and oh yeah. Yeah, it seems like when I want catfish, I catch Gar. When I want Gar, I catch catfish. <laughs> Okay, this one, he is fighting me, my friend. Yeah. Now we're going to give it a moment or two more, and if we don't see anything, we're going to push forward an hour, because we've got to at least catch one. Good gracious. Well, I'll tell you, if that doesn't work too well for you soon, over there by the... Uh, the other stick ups, not at the Woody and Champ, but you know which ones I'm talking about. Over to the right is a real good one too, Dua. Yeah. That's my well, second favorite spot. The, 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 whole, the whole point for me is that uh, this is the spot. This is, I've, I've fished the whole rest of this river looking for the flatheads. This is a spot that has always produced the most flatheads for me consistently. That's why I'm fishing this spot still. Bring, 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 push forward an hour. Maybe just a time, Dylan. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, I'm not making any assumptions. I'm just gonna push the time. Make the cast or do uh, Another 20 pounder. <coughs> there you go. Let's see. I can't see, remember. I if, huge, baby. Oh, yeah. Let me see. A question if it's raining, does that have any effect on the fishing? The flatheads, or do you know? I honestly don't know what the flatheads are. I don't think I've ever seen it rain on them here in the map. 
It's raining like crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it's raining here. I've seen rain here, uh, Michigan, early in the morning. Because I did that one on the uh, walleye, and I wanted to see if the walleye would be biting when it rained there. And sure enough, just like they always did at Emerald Lake, they bite. Yeah. But like right when it is raining, it's like as soon as it hits like 7 a.m., it immediately and abruptly stops. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm getting any biting over here. I try to mix it up a little bit, move it around. The only problem is it's harder for me to see with all this rain. What are you looking for? Well, I have a tendency to watch the bobber instead of the little thing on the right. <clears throat> and with the raindrops, it's, you know, <laughs> throwing me off a little bit. I'm like, am I getting a bite? I don't think I am. I'm going to cast it over towards the stick-ups a little bit. Smack in between. Caught my last trophy right there. So far, my classic killing catfish spider has not produced even a bite. That is not good, my friend. No, well, it's 412. Usually 415 is like the first hot bite. We'll see. If, it, if they don't bite before, then 415 is like when they when they make their move. Don't know why, if it's through the AI or what, but... The cl clock check. I was going to say, they're clock watchers. <laughs> yep, it must be. He, he did break it? Mm -hmm. mm. Yep, instantaneously. And I've got my. Got my uh, tension down to under half, so. I literally put mine at two notches, no, for, no joke. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to do the same. But that was the 15 bite I was thinking about. Right yeah. There on time. So at least they do the 14 bite. Yeah, I was at uh, uh, three quarters, maybe two thirds. I think is more accurate. Drop her down, but at least they're, they're starting to show their faces now. That's good. Yeah, I, uh, I think mine was about half, and it snapped mine right off the bat too. So. Yeah, if I if we do hook into a trophy, we're gonna have a fight on our hands. <laughs> Cause that twenty. I've uh, consistently brought in twenty pound fish on online. So what? Uh, what's the time limit at the moment? I've got twenty fifty twenty minutes fifty four seconds. Getting a bite there. Move down over here where I was. Oh, let's see 
ship to Fort 26 by Well, they're definitely hitting a lull here in the biting. Well, in theory, should be coming up on the next on the next bite. Like I say, there's there's almost there's almost a, a clockwork to it. For one minute past the the next normal bite, usually it's 4:50, and then it's 4:26. I'm at 4:28 now. Here we go. I got a bite. All right, I got. Okay, he's not very big. Either that, or he's not a catfish. Might have a gar. Yeah, I think I do. It's it's not really fighting me as much as the last one did. Oh, how small did have they he pulled them in? Are there ten pound flatheads in here or I'm not sure how we go. Oh it's a flathead. I just I just saw his head. Alright, let's see. Yeah, he's sixteen. Sixteen point seven nine. got the advantage and the fact that I had advanced time before you did so my wife says I'm cheating again <laughs> she says so you're cheating again I'm not cheating <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm using strat strategy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's using strategically throwing the bait in the water. One thing I do like about this spot is the slack isn't nearly as bad. Yeah. I don't get as many bites as I do that other spot, but with the rain, it's making the current flow faster. Well, I think the current is just faster in general everywhere. That's why I came over here because I didn't want to fight the current. Because the current's faster on the mud water now. Faster at the dock location in Michigan. I haven't tested many other locations for the current speed, but currently we're debating on whether this is a good option or not. Oh, come on! Give me another bass. That's a long one. 
<laughs> Are you in the Heron metal? Sorry? Are you in the Heron? What do you mean? North Carolina? Oh, uh, no, I'm in Texas. Oh. Floated down too much here. Looks like Possum and Bunny are playing miscreated. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've never seen that. What is that about? Yeah, it's another time for game. Of course. <laughs> it's got a little bit of, of daisy flavor to it. Yeah, it seems like if they could smack zombies around, they're gonna they're playing it. Yep. <laughs> it's called Lone Star, Texas, and uh, it's the free map from the game. It's hard to tell. I'm actually, I'm actually having to write, watch the thing on the right this time. No, when I float fish, I like to watch the actual bobber. It's just a thing with me. Another time check here. Yeah. Thirteen two. I've had one one that uh, broke the line and one that said the bait was pulled too far away and that's it. And I'm pushing six o'clock now. So my that fish is officially nerfed. A lot of these places seem like they've been nerfed down quite a bit. Now, have you noticed anything with the peacock bass? I mean, have they been nerfed down? Or? I, I haven't been to Florida in forever. Hmm, I haven't either. I, know. I don't know. I haven't been there either in a while. First spot. It's been kind of. Yeah. Well, lady, it's uh, overcast every day of the trip. So. Five overcast days in a row. Now, if you ever get a chance, watch her. Her videos are really good. She's yeah. she's really good, actually. She um, knows her stuff. I was trying to go to the map, and I hit the wrong button. See it that that's one thing it'd be nice if we actually had an official head to head because then we'd have the same weather, everything, you know. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, man. Thanks. 
Lady's channel in the chat. Well, that's it's official. I must fish can't fish like everyone else does. Thought I was getting a bite there. They've been uh, kind of hitting it hard when they do hit it. I thought you had me on this one, to be honest. Well, I can't believe that, that my classic spot has just ceased to produce fish. One bite. One bite. One fish who came up and looked at it and couldn't make up his mind. I'm getting a lot of that. It seems to be nerfed down altogether, to be honest. people too. <laughs> got but I've noticed that other two locations as well in Oregon you can go fish in Oregon and cast one location and you get a, a 109 foot cast cast another location with just as much open water and you get a 140 foot cast. That is weird. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Another twenty pound flathead. Seems to be average. Yeah, lady, uh, it's been like that, like practically from the beginning. Same thing, uh, Emerald Lake, get on the dock, cast out, get a, a 200 foot cast, get on the side, cast out, get a 170 foot cast. That's, that's messed up. <laughs> I was going to say, the wind at your back when you cast, I mean, what? <laughs> Gives you that extra push. <laughs> I 
Come on, Catcher, you need to get the 40 pounder, man. That's what they do, you know, in real life, that's what they do. They sit in those holes and wait for the, the food to come floating, yeah. floating on by. Got a lot of them out here in the Ohio River, big ones. Well, Eric, the reason I haven't sung the catfish song is because I believe that using these ancient voodoo powers is unfair to Hawkeye. <laughs> Go do that voodoo that you do so well. Oh shoot, can bite. <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> it's talking. Okay, okay, okay. He's he's big. This is going to be a fight, and I've got three minutes to bring in <laughs> this in on 10 pound test. So, hope I can do it because it won't count. Come on. Okay. He's coming slowly. Watch him be 12 pounds. <laughs> no, he's not a trophy, but he's just a little bit bigger of a 20 pounder. He's 20.526, so that's the biggest one I've caught so far. Yeah. Alright. And he was a fighter. Two minutes. Let's try one more cast. I think we can safely say I won't be posting this one online. I'm not going to have to ask somebody to sit and watch me watch Bobber for 45 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, man. We can do another one there if, if I can take a break. Maybe we can go ahead and do the peacock bass one if you, or unless you got something else in mind. Because you know you're going to get action with them. Well, I don't know, considering everything we've seen up to this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, went there and all we could catch was smelt. <laughs> Wouldn't be put it past it either. We're down to one minute nine seconds. Yep. Even if I haul in Moby Catfish, you pretty much got this. Thanks for the bottle lady of games. Much appreciated. Well, the rain abruptly stops. <laughs> I 
One thing I... Yep, that's it. My little alarm's going off. Alright. Well, there you go. Sorry about that. The only thing I have not tested is this, you know, I should have. I should have tested this to see if they bite after 9 p.m. Because you never know, they might have changed that. I doubt it. Well, let me see. I think the biggest one I got was the 20.5 something. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, 20.526. But I caught five. Smallest being 16.79. Most of them during the rain, so that was. That's different to see. You got a little cloud with raindrops. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, do you want to. There you go. So, same gear, same bait, same, <clears throat> same thing. Yeah. Just must be that Hawkeye power. I don't know what it is. I've just been really lucky lately for some reason. Well, I'm but I do not cheat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet with Kachi, aka Delacaba, our fishing competitions. But I think the next one we're going to be doing is going to be. Does that sound good to you? The See if we sure. can try out those guys. See if sure they do anything. Do okay. Might want to take a break here. Get, uh... Well, I'm going to have to rechange my gear and everything. I don't have the right gear, so... Alright. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign up for this particular episode, so I'll see you later. Bye-bye.